Now, the U.S. military says it has killed a senior leader of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula in an airstrike in Yemen. Abd Ali al-Khani al-Rassas is said to have been taken out by the strike last Sunday in a remote area in central Yemen. Now, the leader of the UK opposition is calling for an inquiry into allegations Israeli officials tried to bring down a government minister. Last week, Al Jazeera's investigative unit aired evidence that officials were plotting against MPs who didn't support Israel. Now, Jeremy Corbyn has written an open letter to Prime Minister Theresa May saying he's unhappy the matter appears to have been closed. Now, there's been a mixed response to the U.S. government's surprise move to end a policy that allowed Cubans to enter America without visas. The so-called wet foot, dry foot policy came into effect, or came uh, to an immediate end, rather, on Thursday. Andy Gallagher has the latest now from Miami. For more than 20 years, Cubans fleeing their home have enjoyed special status in the U.S., one foot on dry land was essentially a passport to a new life and eventual citizenship. But two years ago, a normalization in relations between the US and Cuba began in an historic turn of events that ended decades of animosity. Now, after months of negotiations, the so-called wet foot, dry foot policy has ended. And in Little Havana, reactions are mixed. But I think anything that's going to level the playing field where we're all the same, Cubans, Jamaicans, Haitians, anybody from all around the world, around the Caribbean, anybody who wants to come to this country has to kind of go about it the right way. There's a lot of them that come for economy. And like I say, a, day, a year and a day after, they go back. The number of Cubans trying to get to the U.S. last year doubled, with many believing that the policy was about to change. But supporters of normalization say the fact that the Cuban government has now agreed to take back those turned away is a sign of progress. The reaction to the end of the wet foot, dry foot policy here in Little Havana has been fairly muted, but it's left this community with two important questions. One being what will President-elect Trump do? And most analysts tell me they think he will keep the policy in place. The other question is whether now Cubans will stop trying to enter the United States. Professor Suchlicki from the Institute of Cuban American Studies thinks Cubans will still leave in big numbers, but he says this latest move may force change on the island. The American policymakers want the Cuban to look internally to their problems, not externally. And most people now are thinking of getting out of Cuba, visiting Florida, uh, moving permanently to Florida. So this will force them to look inward and to put pressure on the regime. The Cuban government called the repeal of wet foot, dry foot an important step in advancing relations between the two countries. Those critical of normalization say reforms in Cuba are still badly needed. But for now, the U.S. embargo remains in place. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida. Now, anti 